Hey everyone, welcome back to our last section of matter. We're gonna focus on energy flow. So one key definition I want you to know about energy flow is latent heat. And latent heat is the energy needed to complete the rearranging of molecules during a phase change. When we go from a solid to a liquid to a gas or back and forth between those different phases, they don't just happen magically. There's specific chemistry that is going on within those substances and within those different reactions. Okay. These can be defined as the latent heat of fusion, which is the energy needed to melt or freeze something, and the latent heat of vaporization, which on the flip side is the energy needed to evaporate or condense something. So during a phase change, temperature and energy are going to be in flux. They're going to be changing. But during a specific phase change, the temperature is going to remain constant, as we can see over on the graph on the right. When we are changing between a solid and a liquid, that is melting, but during that melting process, the temperature itself is remaining constant. It's just the energy input that is changing, right? So as we go from a solid to a liquid, that's melting, and as we go from a liquid to a gas, that is vaporization. Understanding phase changes is important in processing and preserving our different foods. Phase changes require extra energy, and as the temperature drops, the energy is released, and as temperatures climb, energy is absorbed. So it's important to understand this simply from a food processing standpoint, because when we cook something like a steak, a lot of these concepts can be applied. There are three factors that affect the rates of reactions within food preparation. One of these is the temperature of reactants. The rate of a reaction approximately doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius increase in the temperature. The amount of surface area is also important to consider. If we have a larger surface area or a larger steak, the faster our reaction is going to occur, the faster our cooking is um, going to occur. Okay, And the thickness of the food, the thicker our food, the longer it's going to take to cook. So there you have it. That's all I had for matter. Take a look at these learning objectives. Make sure you have met them. And if you have any questions, feel free to rewind, repeat, hit pause, or always feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.